Oh, hello. Morbo the Annihilator here. Gruesome death awaits us all! Doom! <laughs> Hi everyone, Morbo here, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on the different types of ships that we have, as well as their different purposes. Okay, with the different types of ships, they're broken down into categories. The first category is cruisers. We have battleships. We have destroyers. We have submarines. We have aircraft carriers. And we also have a special one of limited time. Limited time include any of the five groups that you can have, but you only have it for a certain amount of time. You can gain different types of ships that way. This one here currently is a destroyer. You can tell by the little destroyer symbol on it. Okay, first we're gonna cover the aircraft carriers. There's several different aircraft carriers you can have. Um, with our aircraft carriers, I'm just gonna bring up a Yorktown, which is a five star. All ships are broken down into one, two, three, four, or five star currently. Now, aircraft carriers are quite big ships, but their purpose is to bring in aircraft. Now, there's two different types of aircraft. You can even see they're divided up here on the deck. Our first aircrafts are our uh, bombers, and then our second type are our torpedo planes. Um, different ships will have different amounts according to how high these ships have been raised up. Um, so with that, we have here, this is the USS Yorktown, and currently you can see it has six uh, bomber planes and three torpedo planes. Now, the purpose of an aircraft carrier during a map will be to send planes out long range because the aircraft carrier itself has very little defense or offense, so it doesn't really want to go into battles. You want to vary away from the battle with it, but send your planes directly at it, the reason being is that the planes can't get hit by any of the main or secondary guns from any of the ships. They can only be hit by anti-aircraft guns on any of the ships. So when you send your planes in, it does take a little bit for anyone to be taken out, and then they do rebuild after a while um, to go back into onto your ship. Um, if your ship does get destroyed, it does have all the aircraft back on it as well. But with the aircraft carrier, you want to stay out. You don't want to go charging in with it even though they do can have quite a bit of hit points in that, but they still won't last very long. The second type is our submarines. Now, our submarines, <clears throat> the main point of a submarine, and in this one I'll bring up is a Type F submarine. Um, type F, all different submarines only have torpedoes. You can see here when you go into the, the to upgrade it, it only has torpedoes. In this case, it's, this one has eight currently. Uh, class 9 warship. It's almost a class 10, just need a couple more pieces to make it a class 10. But you, even when you get it to upgrade, you won't get any more things. You can always see when you click on it, by clicking on the upgrade, what weapons you'll unlock by going to the next level. Currently none for this, it'll just gain some hit points. Um, so with these torpedoes, they're underwater of course, so they'll go after um, ships. Now the thing about the torpedoes and the ship itself, it has very little defense when it comes up against destroyers and, to a degree, cruisers. Because cruisers have torpedoes, which of course can take out subs. Battleships have no defense or no offensive weapons against a uh, submarine and no defense to take on a submarine one-on-one, -on -one, as long as the submarine stays submerged. Now, you do have a limited time underneath the water when you're getting uh, uh, your oxygen supply. So it's very important to watch that when you're playing. Now, submarines are very, very vulnerable to destroyers. Okay, they have both mines and torpedoes, are very quick with a short turning radius where a submarine is very slow to turn and slow underwater. Um, so if you're piloting a submarine, you want to avoid destroyers at all costs. Somewhat avoid cruisers. Cruisers don't have a quick turning radius and don't have mines. So you can go up against one, but you might not fare very well. Um, it does take a while for your torpedoes to launch. What you really want to do in a submarine is to take out battleships. That's your first primary target, and then aircraft carriers and submarines after that. The battleships, because the battleships cannot attack you as long as you're underwater. So it's best to try to go after them. Um, next, we have destroyers. Destroyers, very small ships, so they don't have very many hit points. Um, but they do have an offensive weapon, so their main weapon is that they're sh fast, okay? Um, in this one, I'll use the Kagiro, and 
when I bring up a Kagiro, I will show you that it has very small weapons. It only has three uh, 105 millimeters. It has two torpedo launchers, and it has three, and later when it's upgraded to level 10, we'll have four mines on it. Now, the mines with the torpedo, uh, with the destroyer, your main purpose of a destroyer is, one, to give eyes to all your other ships, because it has the longest surface scan range of all the ships, okay? You can see the surface scan range here, unmodified is 13.46. Um, that means it will highlight the enemy ships, and they'll be, your ships will be able to see it, um, anybody on your guild, in your team, will be able to see it that you're playing with against and the other ships. That means that once you highlight it, your battleships and your cruisers can then just volley their heavy artillery at it and take out ships. You have to avoid all the other ships while you're trying to do so. Doing figure eights, uh, doing circles, in and out, anything to avoid it, constantly moving high speed, drop your mines, lay down a minefield so they can't come through, send out your torpedoes, your guns will do a little bit of damage, quick reload, but that's not the main purpose. In a destroyer, you really don't want to be going head-on-head -head with a battleship. Battleship can nail you out in one or two quick shots and take you out. Where if you're going up against a cruiser, you'll have better chance. Drop the mines in the way, dodge in and out. Destroyer and destroyer, perfectly fine to try to take them out. Same with if you're a destroyer. If you're in a battle, your first main purpose, of course, is eyes. Your second main purpose is to lay down your minefield, shoot your torpedoes, and if there is an enemy sub, take it out. The reason being, battleships are really counting on you not to let this, those subs get through to you. So it's very important to watch your map and to watch when you're loading screen to make sure that there is no sub located anywhere on the map. If there is, your job is to take out the sub before anybody else. Okay, and our next type of ship we have, of course, is the battleship. Everybody loves a nice big battleship, right? So with the, there's several different types of battleships. It can either have three or four guns according to what it's upgraded. This one here is the Mutsu. Um, it's a nice big ship, has lots of armor, lots of hit points, pretty good speed. It's got four guns on it here. We will bring it up. It's got four guns, it's got uh, six uh, secondary guns for close range, and it's got some anti-aircraft. So the main purpose of a battleship is to take out the cruisers and battleships of the enemy. Reason being, you're staying at a long distance. They typically have a much longer range than the other ones. Our main battery range by default on this ship is 18 kilometers. So you've got more range than any other ship out there. And the point is, you're taking your gunfire with your heavy guns, which can do quite a bit of damage. This one here, fully finished upgrading, it's only at per level 6, and it's already doing almost 2,500 points of damage. Um, just at level 6 alone, with a shell speed of 9,000. The faster the shell speed, the faster your shots get to where they have to go. So the main purpose of the battleship is to sit back, if it's a capture one, to sit in the back of the capture point, not to run up into the middle of a spawn point, but to take out um, any of the battleships or cruisers. It's harder to hit the destroyers with a battleship because you're usually further away. Unless the battleship comes really close to you, then you take out the, or sorry, if the destroyer comes really close to you, then you take out the destroyer. But you're going to sit at a long range and just do a lot of damage to a lot of ships. Okay, and the final one we have is the cruiser. Now with the cruiser, it's a combination, it's halfway between a battleship and a destroyer. And the main part of a, of a cruiser is it's faster than a battleship, but it doesn't do as much damage. Now it's slower than a destroyer, but it does do more damage. So with a cruiser, you also have more um, surface scan range, so you can highlight ships. So you can see a, a battleship before the battleship can, can see you, but a destroyer can see you before you can see the destroyer. Now with the, the cruiser, it usually has, and this one here I'm using is the Cleveland. This one here happens to have six main guns. Now these main guns don't do as much damage as the uh, battleship. These here are four star and five star guns. So you can see a five star gun here, upgraded to level nine, will do 1,348 points of damage um, with it where the battleship was doing 2,500. So you're doing half as much. Even though this one has six, 
your range isn't quite as far as a battleship you can see here uh, your main battery range is only 15.61 where the Mutsu had an 18 kilometer default range so it does have a farther range but if you can see it before they can see you you can always lob more shells and you don't do as much damage it just takes more salvos now also with this ship you also have torpedoes now this one here is a nice big one because it has four torpedo tubes two on each side so you can shoot two from one side turn to two from the other side here both the 500 and 533 millimeter ones are available plus it also has anti-aircraft i find that the cleveland even though it only has two anti-aircrafts will shoot down quite a bit of planes it's very good at doing that um if planes are coming at you you have a good chance of taking out one every second um attack of the planes on you from an aircraft carrier um so this ship happens and you'll find a lot of people do use the cleveland it is a good combination between a destroyer and a battleship you can do quite a bit of damage the torpedoes you have to get a little bit closer if you can get close enough and do your damage with the torpedoes or hit one or two they can still do quite a bit of damage here a 500 millimeter one here that's 10,530 with three torpedoes where 533 at level eight is 11,754 so if you can hit somebody with the torpedoes and your guns you're still doing an extensive amount of damage to somebody and it's got a fair amount of hit points not as much as a, a battleship but a lot more than a destroyer so it's a good combination between uh, between the two if you like to hit and run um, it's a good one to have if you can close in with this onto a destroyer you can typically take it out because it's fast maneuverability is negated when you get closer to it and you have more guns to be able to create more damage just watch out for mines being dropped it drops torpedoes you can drop torpedoes so it gives you a nice clear balance now the main purpose of these ships like i was saying aircraft carriers long distance submarines to try to take out the other ones destroyers to take out other destroyers and submarines and aircraft carriers you don't find many people using aircraft carriers because they are a very big downfall in this game they don't hold as much power as they really could or should um, the planes need to be faster in that in it uh, battleships to sit back and do a long distance pounding of as much damage as possible as long as the ships are being highlighted usually that's the job of the destroyer to highlight the ships the battleships then will take them out cruisers good combination in between especially they're good solo ships you take one ship off by its side it can usually see most other ships before it sees uh they see it uh, except for destroyers of course and with that once you see the destroyer it's your close range as long as you're out of the range of the battleships you can take it out and it's not as much damage as a battleship but it can see a battleship before a battleship can see it okay that's the ships and how you can do them as they're broken down